A person slipping on a banana peel, a cat riding a Roomba, a cat in a shark costume riding a Roomba that's chasing a duck. These are universally funny things that say something about the absurdity of life. But what does it say when someone laughs at a badly parked car or a barking dog? Researchers at University College London found that laughing at not so funny situations or even tragic ones could be a sign of a subset of dementia called frontotemporal dementia or FTD. This type of dementia is often found in people 55 and under and unlike in Alzheimer's, pervasive faults in memory are not an early indicator of FTD. Instead, a skewed sense of humor could be a red flag. Researchers questioned friends and family of 48 patients with dementia, all of whom knew the patients for at least 15 years and before the condition took root. The questionnaires revealed that many of the friends and family noted changes in a key personality marker, a significant shift in a sense of humor. There were anecdotes of patients laughing at natural disasters and poorly parked cars. In one scenario, when a patient scalded herself, instead of screaming in pain, she began to laugh. The researchers also noticed that for FTD patients, absurdist and satirical humor like Monty Python didn't do it for them. Compared to healthy people of a similar age, FTD patients were far more likely to chuckle at slaps stick like the Three Stooges. The findings from University College London underscore two points. First, that our personalities, the behaviors that make us who we are, are not set in stone. And second, that all it can take to fundamentally change the person who we and others think we are is something like nerve cell damage to the brain. These slight but crucial changes to the brain can cause a different version of the self to emerge, one that filters reality a little further away from the universal experience. Which makes the answer to the question of who we are wholly dependent on the brain we just happen to have at that very moment. According to laugh researcher Robert Provine, there are only three sounds we can make while chortling. <laughs> that was three, right? For more laughing matters, drop in daily at now.howstuffworks.com.